What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School. Just wanted to uh, take a minute and talk to everybody about uh, getting a concealed weapons permit and carrying a gun. Uh, once you get that permit, uh, you are then legal to carry a gun. Uh, for some people, uh, actually for all of us, it doesn't necessarily mean you're ready to carry that gun. I highly recommend you know getting some kind of training to make sure you know what to do when something happens. It's not about if it's going to happen, it's when it happens. Uh, we all see what's going on around us uh, here locally. Uh, we saw what just happened recently in the news, very sad situation. I uh, hope nothing like that ever happens again, um, but it does happen and that's why we all need to make sure that we're ready and we're prepared. I'll be honest, I've taken more training once I got my concealed weapons permit. You know, even as an instructor, I still continue to take training. Uh, I always recommend our students going and trying other schools as well. I'm not necessarily t saying take the training from us here at South Carolina Gun School, but get some kind of training past the concealed weapons permit training because that's just showing you uh, the proper fundamentals and safety around the weapon, how to handle the weapon, how to fire the weapon. Uh, it's not teaching you how to shoot and move, shoot, move, and reload. Uh, moving, reloading, working malfunctions, all kind of things like that are going to happen if something ever happens in real life. And that's some of the things that we help you out with here is being able to know what to do. Uh, just going to a firing range and just standing there, you know, firing 50, 100, 200 rounds is going to make you a more accurate shooter and it's going to help you with the fundamentals. But being able to shoot and move is something that a lot of people don't do and it's something that you know people need to do more of. Um, I'll be honest, I need to go out and do a little bit more training myself. Uh, it's been a little busy, a little hectic here lately trying to expand out and off, be able to offer more training. So I'm gonna slowly start get, getting back into a uh, routine of getting some training in. and. Even coming up here and using the simulation stuff is, is great no matter from a beginner all the way up to an expert. Um, training is, is needed, you know. You don't see UFC fighters not training before they go into a ring. Uh, you don't see bodybuilders or power lifters or, you know, race car drivers or baseball players, any type of sports or activities. This, people are, are training for it to get conditioned, you know, to get ready and to understand what's going to happen and how they need to react when it does happen. So, you know, please take the time to get some training. Uh, we're, I, I feel we're very affordable. We offer great rates, great classes. You know, if you're looking into, you know, say a defensive pistol class or a defensive rifle class, but you don't really have the money or want to spend, you know, all those rounds to take the class, let me know. I'll work with you on the cost and we can do everything right here with the simulation training. Everything I do in a live fire class, I can do right here with the simulation training. So please look you know, at our school, look at other schools, compare them, see what's gonna work best you know, for what you're wanting to do. You know, I'll be honest, we don't do a lot of competition stuff uh, with the simulation that I have, simulation software that I have now. You know, we can kind of work some competition type scenarios if that's something that you're, you're in, but we don't fully uh, train for competition shooting. We want to train people uh, for real life scenarios. I can I can recommend you people to go to, you know, if they competition stuff is what you're mainly wanting to uh, focus on. But like I said, we're we're mainly going to be real life scenario type situations. Uh, matter of fact, like I said, I've been in the process of setting up a vehicle class uh, so you can learn how to work from a vehicle uh, with your weapon. It's something that possibly could happen, so being able to know how to get out of that vehicle and how to work around that vehicle is, is very important. Like I said, it's, it's more than just standing on a firing line and shooting downrange. There's way more to that. And you always, you hear everybody say it, you play like you practice. So if you're just standing at a firing line, you're slowly doing the reloads, taking your time, loading this, sitting it down, you know, that's what's going to happen when you know real life happens. You're going to run out and you're going to be like, oh crap, I don't have everything sitting right here in front of me. So it, it, it's more than just standing on a firing line. Standing on a firing line is great. Uh, dry fire practice is, is great, but 
you know some of the live fire stuff is also very good as well uh, but like I said if, if you're not wanting to spend that amount of money on the ammunition you know I'll be glad to work with you and we can do the stuff right here in simulation I've got plenty of room here I can set it up just like what you would see in a live fire class and you can still learn how to shoot and move uh, reload work malfunctions understanding how to work behind cover and concealment and all kind of things like that so please take the time to look at furthering your training it's more than just getting the permit and taking that class uh, I, I really wish everybody would, would take the time I know I've recently read some stuff uh, there was one thing I forgot what the website uh, there was a gentleman he was at a party uh, somebody walked up asking do you want to use the phone and he, he sensed there was something weird and fishy to it and he went back to his apartment got his weapon uh, came back and his friends were being held at gunpoint and instead of acting on the situation you know he tried to tell the guy to you know drop the gun and uh, you know tell him to lay it down and as the guy was laying it down he jumped up real quick and, and shot the guy so things like that are being able to know how to react you can't you can't hesitate uh, if you hesitate it's your life you know what, what is your life worth my life's worth way more money than than I'll probably ever make in my lifetime so if I need to spend a little bit to make sure I'm protecting that and my family then I'm gonna do that like I said just because I'm instructor doesn't mean I'm perfect I go and take trainings with other schools I, I started out you know even even being in the military it, it taught me things I learned you know some great skills with the rifle not so much with the pistol so I, I've taken classes with South Carolina gun school before I became an instructor and eventually before taking it over full time. I've taken classes with Suarez International. I would love to hit up Valor Ridge, um, you know, SIG. There's, there's tons of places I would love to go and take training uh, from, from those people just to learn. Uh, I've even had classes with Craig Sawyer and just being able to uh, talk to these people and learn from them and learn from their experiences because everybody teaches things differently and you might find something that works better for you with someone else than, than what we did. So if you do take a class from us or have taken a class from us, look at other schools, see what's going on out there, see what people are doing. I highly, highly recommend training beyond just a concealed weapons permit class. If you have any questions, uh, the website's www.scgunschool.com or you can email me at scgunschool at gmail.com and all our contact information is available on the website as well as all our classes that we offer. Uh, the simulation stuff is currently in the process of getting added, so just bear with us. So if you have any questions around that, please reach out to me. I'll be glad to send you a description of the class so you can understand you know, what we're doing. But you are able now to go to the registration page and sign up for all our classes, live fire or simulation. Uh, I've added more live fire classes through the week for the people that have unfortunately been able to uh, not been able to make it out to our weekend classes if you do work on the weekends. I've added women's only classes because I've had a lot of ladies asking for women's only classes. Uh, and I don't want to get too much off on a tangent, but I can understand wanting to come to a women's only class and feeling a little more comfortable. But I promise you that people that come into our classes are going to, you know, help you out. Whether man, woman, child, black, white, green, yellow, purple, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're all a gun community. We all work together, we all help each other out, so don't be hesitant to come in and take a class with, you know, men, uh, or whatever it might be. If you want to do a women's only to get more acclimated and feel more comfortable before coming in, then they're out there, I've got them on the schedule. If what's on the schedule doesn't work out for you, please reach out to me. I'll be glad to set a private class up so you can get the training. I don't want anyone, you know, not to get the training, not to feel more comfortable with a, a firearm and not you know understand exactly how to use it when something happens so please let me know if you have any questions i hope you enjoy the videos that we've been putting out uh, please comment below if there's any other videos that you'd like to see we're slowly going to be adding some more videos uh, slings uh, carry positions all kind of different things with ars and pistols and rifles and shotguns uh, speaking of that uh, we're in the process of slowly working in uh, to start offering some shotgun classes as well. So continue to watch our website, continue to uh, watch our YouTube page. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, 
we're going to be adding stuff. I'm going to be putting out updates through YouTube, through Facebook, and through the website as well. So please be on the lookout. There's more to come. We've got great training going on right now. Please check out the website. Get signed up. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. If this, what's on the schedule doesn't work, reach out to me so I can make sure you are getting the training that you want. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.